Good morning. How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. It's early for me. Uh, my name is Bobby. This topic is going to be a little heavier than the funny probing of the alien one. This has to do with a very bizarre occurrence in our education system right now. There's a push to sexualize children at a very young age. What I mean by that is to introduce them to things that normally children would not be introduced to. It's um, the idea, I'm sure, that these Marxist liberals are thinking, you know, the current administration and all their lackeys, they're thinking that, that in their LBGTQ R-S-T-Q-R, I don't know how many fucking letters they got now. <clears throat> in their quest for dominance, in, in, everybody, in a total, in, ex, in extreme acceptance, it's got to be, that you, you, it's either their way or the highway. You can't have an opinion otherwise. And if you do, you're a monster, apparently. Like I said, I, I love my gay and lesbian friends, but they've become militant to the point where they're scary. I mean, in these drag queens reading to children, um, okay. I don't know who thought that was a really good idea. I mean, it's one thing, fine, if they look like Marilyn Monroe, who's gonna know, right? It's a guy, girl, who, you know, a kid's a, kid's a kid. But when they dress like dragons or demons, I don't even know what the hell they're calling it. And here's another thing. I was, when I was staying with my dad, I was temporarily introduced back to television and all the stupid shit that goes on by, via commercials. And there was this one show where it was all about drag queens. Okay? Here's the thing I had a problem with this. They all look like demons. Watch the show. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. They, I don't know. Here's the thing. Tu Wong Fu is a great example of a drag queen looking like a beautiful woman. That's kind of the idea. The kind of concept is to, uh, you know what I mean? You're a queen. You're not a demon from hell. So you want to be, glo I mean, you know what I mean? Tu Wong Fu is a great example. They were very, they were statuesque, as Julie Newmar would be considered. You know what I'm saying? And they look like demons from hell. But my point was simple. It's like, why are you pushing this on children? Little, little, I mean... I learned about it in what sixth grade is when I was introduced fifth sixth grade I think it was sixth grade and it was just you put all the boys in room and you show them you know this is your junk and this is what it happens and does blah 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 it's really clinical and it was all giggly and stupid and shit and we all kind of knew it and it was there's an innocence to the children not knowing because it's not necessary plus you have to have parental consent to even to you know what I mean the push that kind of shit and you have teachers going well here there's one teacher that said that that them not being able to speak about their their relationship with their boyfriends and that you know here's the thing i'm like first of all as a teacher if i was a teacher for children in kindergarten stuff my personal life is totally off limits i mean they can know if i'm married they can know that and they can know i could because i'm sure my wife would probably come in eventually and they'd see the kids and the, that kind of thing but that's it. I'm not going to sit there and, you know, oh, my God, he was so amazing last night. It's like, no, no, the you know, kids don't need to know that kind of stuff. They just don't. It's just unnecessary for their growth. Their growth is in the basic math, you know, arithmetic. Social skills are important, too. A lot of it has to do with moral skills, and it doesn't need to be religious completely as, as far as golden rule. Teach others, you know, um, how, what is golden rule? <laughs> The golden rule is basically do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You would want people to love you, love others. It's that simple. I mean, you know, platonically. So anyway, and I just, you know, I loved my childhood. There was a sense of innocence. And, you know, and I was very lucky I didn't get touched by some creepy fucking adult. So there was a sense of innocence for me. And when I became a man and I, I was 16 when I, you know, when I got my cherry popped, I'm not going to lie. And I even talked about it in the past video, and she was really generous. She was an older, she was 18, and I was 16. And that was innocence. That was good. That was a, it was a, it was a good coming of age kind of for me. And 
And it wasn't forced by some, you know, demonic drag queen telling me, you know, spankings are good. What? No, no. See, here's the thing. Chains and whips. That's, they, don't, they don't need to know this. They don't need to. They need to know about, you know, jungle bars and, and you know, chalk and jumping rope and, you know. They're kids. Let them be kids. That's all I'm saying. And so this whole thing is just bullshit. So, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just saying, leave the kids alone. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Ah, oh, that's, that's my video. That's just it. I just, I was thinking about that. Oh, and one more thing I was going to say. This is the really ironic thing that they don't realize sometimes when, when liberals are doing stupid shit. There's a non-binary teacher, genderless non-binary teacher that want, that is cons that thinks it's important to teach sex to second graders and first graders here's the thing what is a non-binary non that's person that has no sex that doesn't identify as a sex why would they be pushing sex that's kind of like the what the fuck right okay that that caught me kind of confused because i was like if you're not identifying as a sex why are you trying to promote sex you know, genders and, you know, I don't know. I'm just trying to say these, these people are fucking confusing. Anyways, I love you. God loves you in the universe. I want you to leave the children alone. Flat out. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Hopefully this video was helpful. I don't know. That's just this little rant. Anyways, talk to you later. Goodbye.